Hello and welcome to this filmmaker's commentary on Stick Together. Now this is kind of a first for uh, the short films you'll see on this channel because this is essentially a romance film which we've never done before, I've never done before. Uh, there is a little bit of drama in there as well obviously um, if you've seen the whole of it, whole of the short film yesterday. But it's about a librarian with a hearing difficulty and a blossoming relationship he has with a new colleague. He falls in love with her, but she doesn't necessarily reciprocate by the end. And his difficulty hearing allows for these two characters to communicate with sticky notes, hence the name Stick Together. Now Stephen here, who's playing Joe, is not an actor. Um, he was the writer for this uh, short film, a writer on a couple of other projects, and uh, one of our main producers uh, in the company we made together, the three of us, Brad there, Stephen, and myself, called Cutting Room Productions, and you'll see a few of those later on. Uh, and this is because our actor who signed on for the role dropped out for some reason. We We didn't really have much communication with him uh, in the end and so we had to go into production and start shooting so Stephen took the role. Now he isn't a professional actor but essentially having him be playing the part of Joe uh, is basically um, method acting for him because during the time we were at uni uh, and this is second year now, he was working at the university library on site anyway. So, um, yeah, essentially this is a role suited for him, and I guess the whole film being written by him as well is kind of his experience at, at uh, working in a library anyway. But um, there is one kind of big thing that maybe I should point out is that I realise, uh, watching it through, that he is only sort of deaf. He's not fully deaf. In a way, it's selective hearing, really, isn't it? You can fully understand some characters in some scenes, but not in others. Uh, probably what we could have done better was heighten elements, uh, so that, uh, as the audience, we feel and hear the same as the character does. For example, earlier on that very first shot where he wakes up to his alarm, rather than hearing the tune of the alarm, we should have probably just had the vibration so that you could have, you know, as the audience felt that same sort of thing that the character was feeling. Uh, on the whole, it's a simple single location for the most part in the library. But uh, hey, there's a sneaky bit of student accommodation in there too. We couldn't couldn't film without the student accommodation appearing at some point. At least it's tidy this time. It's not um, not a mess. Uh, and earlier, just there, you saw a uh, first time coordinating with extras. Really, uh, a lot of our other short films, we don't really think about um, working with extras in it in any way we have our actors cast and then we usually just focus on them but having uh, extras inside the library there because we're shooting out of um, their opening times we have to shoot after the library closed having just extras in there milling about doing their thing uh, really brings it to life really although it's kind of simple. They're obviously friends that um, we ask to help us out, and in return we pay them with a a, a drink at the pub or something. But um, yeah, it was it was good to uh, have those extras in as well. Um, as you can see throughout the whole short, we've generally got warm lighting and a, a warm color grade because if you notice in um, Romance films, is, they're usually meant to be happy with some sort of, you know, breakup or drama between two leads, which this has as well. Uh, but now this part is actually quite subtle. I wonder if you can, you can see it. If I tell you, it will become noticeable. So if you see 
it starts out like we've had got the same warmth and temperature as before, but seeing as Joe's noticed, you know, his new colleagues getting well with getting, you know, getting to know someone else, you can see the colour grade and the temperature is getting colder and bluer. If you look towards maybe at that at the glass on the railings there, you can see it more. But yeah, I thought that was really good. I was editing this and I thought that was a good idea to just shift the the temperature and the tone. Because obviously Joe is feeling rejected and uh, sad. So the editing and the colour reflects that too. It's, it's just very subtle and I thought it was a good, uh, good technique to use. Although um, there are several takes of that shot uh, we did get told off by library management since Brad um, who was uh, talking to um, the new librarian in that shot did hit the intercom and uh, obviously we got told off for having this large loud intercom noise boom across the whole library <laughs> so uh, that was a uh, yeah a little bit of a faux pas on our part. Sound outside was a little bit of an issue. Uh, we're right next to a busy road um, and there's an absolute ton of buses coming by every moment. It's ridiculous so we've got lots and lots of odd noise that we really couldn't take out. However speaking of noise and sound we have I thought an absolutely fantastic score uh, from our composer Tate Nichols just really adds a, a fantastic great layer to the film um, and yeah then we this, this closing scene is the downturn the drama of the film it's um a little bit uh yeah a bit negative and a bit of a downturn but I don't know it, I, something to really ask the uh, writer about um but yeah, overall, that is Stick Together, and that is a uh, nice, cute, warm, little short film with that odd downturn, but um, just sort of read into that ending um, what you will. But yes, uh, that was Stick Together, uh, and I could not be more proud of that one. I think that is absolutely one of the best um, that uh, we made during university and alongside all of the short films that are very much dark and have dark themes and usually there is a student formula when making short films that are involve drugs, death and all sorts of horrible bad things because that's kind of what we see in a lot of dramas nowadays and we went against the grain and made something that was just a a nice warm short film stick together there we go so next week it is true colors uh, a short film that by the end we felt kind of disappointed by but Looking back at it recently, I think it deserves a little more positivity than it did, or than we gave it when we first made it. Uh, and that is the second Cutting Room Productions um, film. Uh, many more to come. So I will see you next week for True Colours. Bye!